Well, we now know how a UNO student died after she took an Uber and was later dropped off at a hospital in February. The coroner says Kaya Whetstone accidentally overdosed. And as Erica Ferrando reports, the news comes as city leaders warn of an uptick in fentanyl overdose deaths. For two months, questions have surrounded the mysterious death of 21-year-old UNO student Kaya Whetstone, who died after a Mardi Gras parade and Uber ride. The morning of February 19th, someone dropped her off at the New Orleans East Hospital, where she was pronounced dead. But it wasn't clear at the time how she died. I brought her here to graduate, not to come pack her up to bury her. In March, her mother spoke out begging for answers. The coroner released this week Whetstone died of an accidental overdose on fentanyl and intoxication. The legal team working with her family released a statement saying the family is distraught that their daughter may have been the victim of a spiked substance, which is becoming all too common. The family is suing, adding her Uber driver failed to take appropriate action and they want to know what the Uber driver did as he witnessed a passenger dying and why he never called 911. It takes a very, very small amount um, to render someone incapacitated. New Orleans Health Director Dr. Jennifer Avegno explains fentanyl is a synthetic opiate that's often added to other drugs because of its potency and low cost. Dr. Avegno warns fentanyl was detected in 90% of overdose deaths in New Orleans last year. Please understand that what you may use is very likely to have a lethal dose of fentanyl in it. Again, it does not take much. Four New Orleans Fire Department stations are giving away Narcan, which can almost instantly reverse an opioid overdose to save the person's life. Our firefighters, our EMS department, even our police officers are administering Narcan almost on a daily basis to people because of these fentanyl overdoses. They issue this warning as they continue to see fentanyl lace drugs take young lives like this. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. According to Uber, the driver who drove Whetstone to the hospital will remain deactivated on the app, but police have not confirmed if detectives believe he is directly tied to her death.